welcome to our our little fellowship here in our house. And you know what? Uh, uh, we're so excited to share with you some of our devotions and things that we're doing. We're coming together because it's how the early church did it. They got they broke bread together and they read the word and they worshiped God. And we would love for you to join us. Some other nights that you have at your house, we would love for you to get your family together, do a devotion, give praises to the Lord every day, every night. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. When we see at the, the verse, train up a child in the way he should go, the first uh, stage that I look at it is the method, the training up a child in the way he should go. And I think that's a part of uh, us parents. That's our responsibility to do, is training up uh, those children. And the second uh, that we see in the verse that I'm sharing tonight is uh, the result. Because when he is old, he mm. will not depart from it. Mm. And that's a good, uh, good way that we want to see the result of uh, the training that us parents do. Uh, the parents had a big responsibility that we had to do mm. with our children. Mm. Not only training but they have to instruct them a lot of time that we kind of depend on the church and the leaders in the church to uh, teach our children. But in the home, I think that's the beginning where our children can learn God. It's a powerful scripture. Uh, you're talking about Proverbs where we should teach our children the way that they should go. And as they get older, they won't depart from it. And uh, it takes me to Deuteronomy 6.6. 6. And I want to just read that because it falls right in place with that. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Impress. The word impress is to press on. You, you, you have to give it to them daily. And that's, I think that's one of the keys is when do you teach your children? And it, it gives you it here. It says talk about it when you sit at home and when you walk along the road when you lay down, when you get up, tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates. Parents' responsibility, it, it needs need their dedication to their children. Not only their dedication, but their instruction and their motivation to them. Right. Because they had to dedicate their time, their make their children be a priority right. in their, right. in in their, their life. life. Instead of other things, 
decide God? Uh, we can seriously think about that. Are we doing that for our right. children? Mm. Uh, so we should uh, start uh, uh, looking at that and mm. uh, and do what Scripture say. Sure. You know, what what you are reading in Deuteronomy and also right. is that we should be able to teach our children uh, and dedicate all the time that we have, you know, for them because they're very important. You were going to say something, Dan? No, that was it. Yeah. And then the yeah. uh, the result would be, you know, what would be the result? When they get old, uh, yeah. they won't depart. They won't depart. Yeah. 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 So it's it important that we as parents, you know, should know should the know word of God. Know the word of God. Yeah. Uh, word of God. And that just yeah. comes from reading the Bible every day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right? Every time we run into an issue with our children, God gives us the opportunity to make the right choices and decisions to to fix something. And of course we do it biblically and making sure that everything we're doing is praiseworthy uh, and glorifying to God. I, I like the way uh, you say that, follow me as I follow Christ. Mm. Mm. So some of the times I, uh, I, I'm not confident to practice the, the follow, but uh, yeah. the part of the training is myself as a parent. Right. Exactly. So I'm, I play a, a big part in this training. So. <clears throat> It's a uh, first line of, right. of the training, so I need to practice what I mm. teach, Preach. you know, right. so right. uh, I would be a visible uh, evidence yeah. of uh, yeah. the Word of God, and I believe the Word of God is uh, the guideline for us uh, to, right. to teach, you know. Yeah. Mm. There's so much, you know, in the Bible. Mm. You know, where can we begin, you know, by teaching our children? Yeah. So, you know, I was saying earlier that, you know, Christ is God. Mm. You know, He's the Son of God, and He became one of us, he became a man. Uh, and then he lived that perfect life because uh, we are sinners. Uh, he gave himself up as a sacrifice, die on a cross, mm -hmm. so that we sinners, you know, uh, would be saved. Mm -hmm. And those that trust in him. So glad.